COVID-19 center. Hello, how may I help you? You reached the COVID-19 hotline center. How may I be of assistance? My name is Linekela Kalimba. I'm the head of uh, COVID-19 call center, the popular hotline. And um, we are here, we, this is our center. This is our center, and we've got about 45 people who are working here, and uh, we don't close 24-7. At the moment, we've got about 28 people working now, and then during the day shift, and we have got um, the rest working during the night. Ministry of Finance, Pamotani Kutenga, Unomora, Oya Dengere, Okuchara, Edi Dimikora. The daily numbers they differ okay for the f first week during the lockdown our highest recorded was 25,000 calls per day and then but now that the country is not in a panic mode anymore we are receiving less and less like for these days we are receiving less than 5,000 My name is Nitodino Kakehongo. I am an epidemiologist. I work at the Public Health Emergency Operations Center. On the COVID outbreak, I am part of the surveillance team. This uh, screen, as you were already uh, informed by my, by my colleague, that the hotline is part of surveillance. On this screen, we are just uh, monitoring the number of calls that are uh, coming in on a daily basis. If you can see here, answered call, self-explanatory. 701 uh, and we are the lost calls number of lost call is 147 which is equal to 17 percent so some members were on lunch sometimes we go up to 90 percent this is our performance we are actually just monitoring our performance you can check on the agent ready you see we have a total of six people who are ready to 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 to, to answer to the callers and then currently we have three agents that are on the call. These six, they are ready just waiting for to receive any calls that comes in. During the first week of the, uh, of the lockdown, people were more focusing on the guidelines and regulations. They have never seen this thing happen before. People are worried. Uh, they don't know what is uh, the future, and then they're asking us if we know anything. But now, as the days um, goes, then they started asking about their economy things. Some people are saying uh, they don't get, they don't have food at home, their houses, and. Um, after the introduction of the of the IE, EIG, then they started querying more about that money, and then the now nowadays the former sector also kicked in, asking for what uh, whether there will be a relief for them to pay for their uh, the salaries for their employees. Now 
nowadays, I mean, like today we had a very, uh, like a serious case today. And um, about up to 12 now, this day, today we have referred about 12 people already um, who are complaining about the signs and symptoms of, uh, of, uh, of the COVID-19. And then one of them was a, a person who was in quarantine. And um, so those people, we refer them to to the to the relevant relevant uh, places. However, you said that your headache is severe. So if your painkillers are not working, I suggest you just go back to the health facility where you were, so that they can see a way forward. We have realized that people have too many problems, overwhelming problems, which we cannot ignore. And then one thing is that we cannot ignore any call. If the, call is, uh, if the caller is calling and the agent is free, we are going to pick it up. But we do not know what is the person going to, the caller going to ask. So we are still going to pick it up and then we listen, and then we guide where we can or we advise where we can. Okay, what we can do is on the call center, on the COVID-19 refal. Maar omdat je een probleem hebt, um, zal je nummer vat en je naam en dan zal je je terecht bij. Ja, laat ons, laat ons kijken hoe ze ons voor jou helpen. Most of these people, they are graduates. They have done, either they have done medicine or public health, nursing, um, health uh, information management. And some of them, they are our administrators at the, from the head office who came in handy for the language skills which they have. So if, um, uh, so they know more or a bit on COVID-19, they know the diseases, they know social issues in the country. Most of the questions that we have is of the prevention of the disease and um, the, the, the symptoms. Most people would call to find out if they are sick to know if, if what are the type of symptoms that one might experience in order for them to qualify for testing. And we also have got a lot of school queries, school issues. Most of them they want to find out when they are going to go back to school. And these questions are mostly being asked by school, school children. Another challenge that we had was language barrier. You would find that there's someone that really wants the information on the, the disease, but then they would not understand the English terms. So they, they would want someone who speaks the language that they understand. Uh, in that case, you, you, you translate the, the words into the vernacular language to make them understand, which, which I think the team has covered because all the languages are now represented. With me, when it comes to Rukwangali, I've got a few people that I know that are in the field that have translated most of the words for me, like coughing, Kukohora, or we would say in Turo. And then there is, um, there is also a terms like fever, and then um, there are terms like uh, fatigue. Kukurizu angwendi rutu katiruawaka. All those are terms that I didn't actually knew because I'm not in that field. I'm in the human resources field. But then getting to know these people in the medical field, they get help a lot. And we do a lot of consultations with the people that are experiencing the language that are in the field. We are experiencing a lot of um, callers or problems from the nation, you understand? And it's always on our shoulder. Um, yeah, I believe it's a very uh, good experience. Yeah, we are learning things. Uh, luckily, myself uh, and my other colleagues, we, uh, we studied public health. Then uh, psychology was part of our, our module. We have these people who are coming for pranks. So you send these people and you know, they will go fast, as fast as possible. And then when they arrive there, people are just laughing at them. It is very, it is very, very, very bad. And um, it happens twice, and because it was happened in, in Kobabes, where we sent, um, we called all the senior people in health in Omaheke so that they can go and attend to that case. 
and because it was like maybe the people studied the everything about COVID and they were presenting all those signs and symptoms. So when they went there, then they were just laughing at them. Just very, and then you are using the PPEs, which are very expensive. The fuel, the time of these people, yeah. Hakutanga kuna ku romba ndangi, kuhaka babangu wanga hatu bela, ndani nohaka na mibia wahea, ndani na ku tapa makora ngedo. Koha guva waha dish ngeno maukuku tuwendi udinao, kukona mutu bele kuna kusenta wetu, kodoshi tuwene tumu amwene, maamwenone poadi, ndani ngeshi ipangwe batoku ikona. Kuna tapa nga maukuku tu koha kuru waha dish ya one, ngo hoa iru wananga yoyinu. Uh, naku imona meshi na mibi ya kuna kuru wana fiwana, hii ingituwa kutenda, ya hii dish imu ya mpamwe haka Haguva, haku karera, hama ana mbada hana itimuka, mara atwe, tudikuno, yaitu ruwana fiwana. Ndani ndangi shema, moku tuwa kuruwane na pofochi, as a general public. Ndangi. Haya kuchike wa shiwana, umonga tulimuka, ose nda muna watu, tushidi dhimi kile noma, noma puroga o, uchangani, ato umu, Atu vuru mu kwasira kese nga ma atu vuru shiwana atu imimbire nga ne tu kaini pi di dimi keni <hesitation> manga ne wa wa mona kusi ne amu kula na wa nengi ne akula nga sikwa doa hala <hesitation> atu tinga ne tu dimi na ponga ne po shima shafa mono <hesitation> tu kutanga ne a na tu kare nengga atu yu feni koma longo longa taka po tu ako ke pangga lo kutanga tu nengge ne nangi no nando shiri nga no shidi ku ke pangga lo nga no kutu kwasira ni mano na me ya <hesitation> Ya, neno shonga nene nda la ku rombo shiwa na shana ni jamu na ucha. Ah, ya, tutaini nga ne ucha tu kahole ni kwenye shiwa.